dis-moi comment te fait l'amour, l'amour, l'amour. Love, love, dur pour toujours. <rire>
And is this is so is it confinement work? Is it like have you been over there confinement. under the lockdown? Yeah, complete, complete lockdown. No, it's like the world's lockdown. Where do you work? Do you have a, an affiliate? You are, uh, yeah. Yeah, there's a lovely fellow called Frank. And uh, what's his surname, babe? I don't know. Anyway, he owns a restaurant in Echita called the Marie Antoinette. Yeah, he rented me a little space on the other side of the valley. Uh, I think he's going to live there eventually, but at the moment it's just an empty, huge, cold warehouse. Yeah. So, yeah, I just got some rum. And some of my favourite books, and, uh, and yeah, I just immersed myself in in honky noir, really. How long would you like do a session of work? Could you stay in there all day? Uh, no, that's that's the dream, isn't it? That's my dream life. It's just all the outside world and just get stuck into writing and reading, and drinking and. And listen to the audio book of uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula, which is a fantastic book. Right? I love that and never, book. I can't, can't get enough of that book. The whole atmosphere, the whole. Any movies that you saw lately that you liked? Yeah, I do watch. I do watch modern films intermittently, um, but I'm a bit. I'm a bit of a, an obsessive about the films I watch. I watch the same films, you know, yeah, a couple of times a year. Uh, John Husband's Beat the Devil. You know that film? Peter Dennis, right? Peter Lorre, known for Bogart. And The Man with the Golden Arm, the movie of that film. Sorry, the movie of the book. It's one of the rare times when the book is. it's got matched in glory by the film, you know? Uh, like Maltese Falcon. No? No. Yes, yeah, you do. The Maltese Falcon. There's a mold, there's a Falcon. Black folk encrusted, <laughs> encrusted with jewels. And Humphrey Bogart plays Sam Spade, the, uh, the private detective. And I uh, yeah, sink into that, that, that atmosphere. You know, the young girls. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love G. Robinson, you know Edward G. Robinson? No, sorry. He's, uh, he's an incredible actor. He's about somewhere, yeah. So you see a lot of film all the characters and then characters how I imagine they look from, from books that I've read. Do you have any self portraits? Um, do you do that? Yeah, well, they're all sort of self portraits. Really. I think there's only one which was really started as a self portrait, it didn't really end as well. That was my silhouette, but that's the man with the golden arms as well. That's supposed to be my silhouette, I think, years ago. If I mess this one, this is one of the oldest ones. There's Nico there, I don't know what she's doing there. And this yeah, one, I see it. and this one maybe, was a self portrait at some point. Two, two, I don't know who that is. And this, I suppose this guy is a little bit self-portrait when I, when I have short, shorter hair, but he or she pops up in a lot of different uh, nationalities and guises and, and sexualities and she or he's going to be a character in a future book I haven't written yet. And that's Nancy Carroll. Any of her, I watch any of her films again and again. She's, she's cute. So are you going to write a novel? Oh well, no, that's a dream. I don't really yeah. have the discipline of it, but call the, the solitude. But do you know what it would be about? Would it be about yourself, or would it be like a fiction uh, of? Yeah, no, yeah, just be a glorified version of myself. Like. Who do you like identify with uh, in a novel? Like, um, oh, that's me. I when I first read Bright and Rock, I thought I thought that I was Pinky for a little bit, but that's not very aspirational and not very positive. Yeah, no, it's not a good place to be. It's not a good person <laughs> to want to be. Uh, maybe Humphrey Bogart in uh, Beat the Devil. 
Only because he's just, he's in a really bad spot. Mm. And somehow he manages to navigate the waters of, of ethics. I mean, he's not really that ethical actually, he just wants to make some money, but yeah, he ends up doing the right in the end, which is what. Yeah, so that's really, it's not a film noir at all because it has quite a heavy ending, I suppose. It is, which is maybe a bit presumptuous. I was going to ask you if you're happy. If you're happy, you can't hesitate, can you? You know what I mean? If you're happy, you don't hesitate. Mm -hmm. You know you're happy. I happy you know. I feel close, I feel close to happiness. Mm -hmm. But, uh, no, I'm a bit sick because of this fucking van that's been taken by the Marie, the Marie, you know, the council? Marie, Marie? The Marie. I heard a little bit of yeah, something. Yeah, it's got all my journals in it. <laughs> and it would be perfect to give you some stuff in your team. It's pissed me off. Also, before we get back to London, we've got to find a van, so. That's just a personal complication. Uh, I'm happy enough, yeah, I'm happy enough. But uh, I do know what real happiness is, and uh, I'm looking forward to feeling it again sometime soon. Yeah. What do you think love is? What do you think love is? I think it's something unexplainable. Well, there you go. That's not much of an answer, yeah. is it? Well, it's just. You can't. It's invisible. You know, it's like the soul. It's, you kind of know it's there, but you don't know what it this is. This is what you think or what you know? I'm just like saying what I'm thinking right now. Like, I don't know. Absolutely okay. not. Okay. I'm just improvising. Love is improvisation. <laughs> well, yeah, no, even more so though, if you, see, if you see love and you recognize love and you know what love is, but you don't know how you love yourself, mm. you yeah. know, you, that's what creates that like, real love. Uh, well, the opposite of love, it creates hate, yeah, I think. Knowing that something exists and you can't have it. No, that always feels me with joy, seeing a happy couple. Oh, good. Or does it? With the best, how dare they be happy? Feels me with joy to see so many typewriters. I know. Remember? Well, it's the same one, stencil, but I've got a, I've got a bit of a collection. It's one of my guilty, guilty secrets, it's my typewriter collection. I've got like 140. Really? Yeah, it's in England. I like your shoes. I don't think so. Yeah. I've, got, I've got loads of leaves. <laughs> Very so cool. Okay, well look, um, I'm going to really send you some really stuff really for the magazine. Huh? That is so, be so lovely. Yeah, 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 no, I really feel like that. I really feel like we've got a kinship here. Uh, yeah, definitely. Love, 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 love. Montre-moi comment tu fais l'amour. L'amour, l'amour. Love, love, dear, pour toujours. <laughs>